right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today's supplies I will be using, I'm probably not gonna be including this, but I'm gonna be adding a box, some staples, some wire. Um, I already used a Sharpie, um, screwdriver, strippers, razor blade, and a hammer. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you what to do. All right, so the first thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and mount this box for the switch. I just picked a random height on the wall. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this real quick. And so once you do that, you're gonna take your wire and let's just assume that you already know where your power source is coming from, either from a home run or from another device. But for now, let's just pretend it's gonna be a home run wire. So I'm just gonna stick one wire inside the box. I do like to use um, a screwdriver just to knock out the knockouts, or you can use your hammer if it's in a tight spot. So once you get, knock out the little spots in the box, then you can't really see that. Um, so let's just say this wire is the power source right here. And then I'm just gonna leave that there and cut off or whatnot. For the sake of the video, um, let's just say that's your power wire. It's coming from the panel. Um, in this case, it's just floating here. Um, and then the other wire is going to be your switch leg, which just means it's going up to the light box. So you can go ahead and stick that inside your box. Kind of, this is a bad position because it's against the wall. But just go ahead and stick that in there. So here is your lighting wire, and I usually like to leave about 10 inches or so, um, somewhere about here. So if I need to add another wire, say I wanted to go from this box over to this box, then I'll have enough room to pigtail it or whatnot. Um, maybe a little bit more about 12 inches, but if it's one If it's one wire in the box, I just go about 10 inches just because you're gonna want some play in the wire um, When you go to make up your light if it's on a ceiling, especially And then you're just going to run that down into your box So I just pick a length enough to get into your box I want to just cut that off and then go ahead and stick that inside on the other side of the box, and it is nice. Oh, you probably can't see that. It is nice to, um, it is nice to um, use a different hole if you're doing um, two wires. It's nice to put the power wire in one hole and the lighting wire in another hole, just in case you get things mixed up, it saves you time. Um, so if you put both wires in the same hole, Kind of gets confusing sometimes say oh which one's my power which one's my switch leg sometimes you can get that confused um so if if your company doesn't care or you don't care then you can put um the switch leg into the other side over here um whatever side you pick if you like to do powers on the right side or switch legs on the right side um, it's really all preference and then you can throw a staple in here later if you want to this is just for the sake of the video so I could throw a staple right there, but ideally it'd probably be easier just to put the switch leg on the right side, um, just to keep it straighter into the box, um, and less crossing over and stuff if you wanna make it look better. So I'll go ahead and throw a staple in there just to make you guys happy for the sake of the video. Once you get that done, like I've said before, you can either strip the wires inside the box, this method, or you can strip them before you put them in the box, which might be a little bit easier. I'm just gonna cut it too hard. And that's usually how it works. Of course, take off your paper. And so, once you're at this spot, you're gonna need a wire nut, which I need to grab right below real quick. And so, um, and then as far as the lighting box itself, since it's just one wire, you're just going to do the same thing, strip it out or you can leave it just like this um, uncut or you can leave it cut or you can just strip it out it's just as soon as you strip it it's just going to get painted but whatever your company wants most people strip it out um, 
like if you had a second light box and then you're obviously going to need a wire nut that so you're going to have to strip it no matter what but um, if you're just doing one you can strip it out like this and then you usually just fold it up like in a little accordion push that back as far as you can and then going back down to the switch box here I do need to grab a pigtail just going to take the uh, ground wires push them back to the left corner and then go ahead and take your pigtail this is a pre-used one so it's all crooked um, line up your ends and then go ahead and twist your wire nut on there so this is why you're pigtailing this is because if you are unfamiliar it's because when you go to ground a device this is a plug but it's the same thing when you go to put your ground wire onto the switch, you only need one of them. You can only fit one of them on there. So if you have two grounds, you have to pigtail, pigtail that or condense that down into one wire um, so you can put it onto the ground screw. And so once you got all those tightened, I always like to double check, make sure nothing's gonna come out, pull on it a little bit. And then you're going to tie these together for the switch, the neutrals. Um, not using any neutrals in this switch. The only reason you would use a neutral in a switch would be like for a case of a bathroom, for example, um, where you might need a neutral for some kind of newer electronic devices. Um, but for basic switches, it's just a basically an on off switch or a disconnect between the hot and the power. That's the same thing. I mean, the hot and the switch leg. So all you need to do is cap, tie these neutrals together like so. And then this is all you have to do. So one of these is your power right here on the right, remember? And then the left one is the switch leg right here going up to your light. So that's all you need to do for the switch is um, have your one ground wire, your power, and your switch leg. So that's all there is to it. And the, the last thing is all you have to do is fold it up. Granted, usually the pigtails are a little bit longer. Make sure, try not to cross your wires. So I like to push those to the right side into the corner. And then push these back as far as you can. And then fold those. See, it's a little bit short right now. Another three inches would have been good. Um, usually just do like your four fingers right there. Cut that off. And how you do this depends on your style. If you want to tie all these together and wrap it around. So when you go to pull it out, um, when it comes to trim time, it's all together. Or you can just stuff them all in the box one at a time. It's really up to you or what your company wants. So whatever works best for you, everyone has their own style. It's pretty easy to go back trim time and say, okay, I did this box because it looks this way. Everyone has their own sort of style. And that's how you make up and um, wire a switch leg to a light box. So hopefully you learned something and uh, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to check the description for anything else. Um, Hit the like button if you want to support the channel. If you like the video, it would help out. I appreciate it. And don't forget, lastly, to check the or hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload or do live streams. That will, that will do it, guys. Thank you so much. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.